Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, checking out that M1903 Springfield today in Battlefield 1, which is a bolt action rifle and can be equipped on one of your scout loadouts. So the Model 1903 Springfield is an American firearm and a very popular one to be used during the first half of the 20th century. After studying several Mauser rifles collected during the Spanish-American War in 1898, the US Army found that the German Mauser action using weapons such as the Gewehr 98 had a more superior and successful design to their standard Krag Jorgensen rifles, which were being used at the time. Using the Bolton magazine system inspired from the Mauser, and combining this with elements from the Krag rifles, Springfield Armory produced several prototypes over the following years, up to 1903, which is when the M1903 was first designed, and was soon after accepted into military service. Despite a few slight alterations to the Mauser design, the M1903 was still deemed to be very similar, and the US government were forced to pay up to $200,000 back to Mauser, due to patent infringements on their clip feed system. By the time the United States entered the Great War in 1917, over 800,000 Springfield M1903 rifles had been produced, and it proved to be a very effective infantry weapon, seeing quite a lot of action in France. Though as war raged on, Springfield Armoury continued to work on the rifle, and eventually brought out the special Mark I variant, which could fully utilise the Pedersen device, allowing it to fire a 30 calibre pistol cartridge in a semi-automatic fashion. This completely changed the dynamics of the gun, meaning it can be transformed from a slow-shooting bolt-action rifle to a semi-auto rapid-firing weapon on the fly. Huge plans went underway to mass-produce the device and have them in the hands of American Doughboys on the front lines to speed up reloading and kit them out with some truly impressive firepower by 1919. Though the war ended in 1918 before these said devices ever even reached France or saw any action. In Battlefield 1, there's three different variants of the M1903 which can be used, which include the Sniper, Marksman and Experimental, which, despite never actually being used in the war, lets us play around with that Pedersen device anyway, as if it was. And all three of these variants can be found under the Scout category. So the M1903 follows a similar kind of trend to most of the other Scout weapons, featuring a one-hit kill sweet spot. But this lethal zone is actually the furthest away when compared to the other rifles as each bullet is going to retain its minimum damage figure of 80 up to 80 meters, and this will then start to increase up to 100 at 100 meters, reaching the M1903's maximum damage output. This will continue up to 150 meters, which is where the damage will begin to decline, back down to 80 at 190 meters and beyond. And so, if your target is between 100 and 150 meters away, one bullet to the body is all you're going to need to put them down. Outside of these ranges, it'll most likely take two, unless you land yourself a headshot, or unless they've already taken some damage. With a total sweet spot range of 50 meters, this is actually quite a lot to work with, and it's pretty much the same as the Martini Henry. Because the sweet spot range is one of the biggest, it means that your enemies are more likely going to lie within it, than with other rifles, especially when engaging opponents at longer distances. Out of all of the scout weapons, the M1903 deals its maximum damage the furthest away, often making it one of the best options to pick for sniping other players in the distance. And with it having a quick muzzle velocity of 820 meters per second, this is also going to help you out when leading targets at range 2. It's not the fastest muzzle velocity, with the Gewehr 98 beating it slightly at 880 meters per second, but it's still pretty good, and well enough to get the job done most of the time. The rifle fires at a fairly average 51 RPM, which isn't really anything out of the ordinary, and it's probably going to feel pretty similar to use as the Gewehr 98 in terms of it firing at roughly the same speed, having 5 rounds per clip, and having the fairly standard recoil pattern of 2 upwards kick and 1 horizontal, which is the same for most of the scout weapons too. I guess the main difference between the M1903 and the other rifles is its ability to deal with opponents better at those longer distances. But apart from a few minor alterations, it's not exactly miles apart from the Gewehr 98, statistically. Now, taking a look at the Sniper variant, this kits you out with a long-range optical scope, which can reach up to 10 times magnification. It's often the best one to pick for engaging other snipers and enemies further away, and it makes landing headshots and stationary players at range all the easier. As far as stats go, it doesn't really add or take away anything from the Marksman variant, Though, with the M1903 being one of the better long-range weapons of the pack, that added zoom is definitely going to make things easier when using it against enemies within its sweet spot zone. And the Sniper variant also has a bipod, in case you want some extra stability when prone, or when near some form of low cover. Just beware of scope glare, which the Sniper variant is notorious for emitting, 
and it might lead to your position being compromised by your opponent. The Marksman variant on the other hand doesn't have this problem, but it won't be able to reach those higher magnification levels that the Sniper version provides. Because its optics have a lower zoom, this might make it a tad harder to require targets and take them on further away. Though it should be generally easier to use against anyone at closer to medium ranges, and with that added palm rest, this should offer longer stability when holding your breath to line up those shots on target too. But of course, let's move on to that experimental variant, which lets you run wild with that Pedersen device. The M1903 that you knew before is now gone, and instead swapped over with something totally different, that plays out unlike any other rifle in the Scout class's armoury. The Experimental fires at 450 RPM in semi-auto, but those weaker 30 caliber pistol rounds deal a much lower amount of damage, with a maximum of 23 up to 14 meters, and a minimum of 13.5 beyond 37 meters, which means it's going to take between 5 to 8 direct hits to drop your opponent, which is quite a lot. Recoil is extremely low with a vertical pattern of 0.28 and a horizontal pattern of 0.1. Plus it's also got 41 rounds per reload, and so this essentially turns the M1903 into a weapon that functions like a very accurate sidearm with a huge magazine. It's weak, but highly accurate, and might be an okay option to use if you've got a really fast trigger finger. But you'll have to be on target if you don't want to get outgunned by other weapons in those closer to medium ranges where the experimental version is going to be the most successful. So overall, the M1903 Springfield shares a lot of its factors with the Gewehr 98. It's generally one of the best weapons to use at long ranges, down to it having such a large one hit kill zone at the furthest distance, and with its muzzle velocity being fairly quick too. With that said, this also makes it less desirable for closer to medium ranges, as it'll usually always take two bullets to kill. Plus it's got a relatively slow fire rate, which, albeit isn't anywhere near as sluggish as the Martini Henry, but it can still be outmatched by some of the other rifles like the Russian 1895 and the Gewehr M95. Though the Springfield is still a good choice to pick for snipers, and anyone who prefers to engage in long range combat, making it a truly powerful scout weapon for cutting down other players far away. So that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for loads more content coming soon, and subscribe to stay updated. Take it easy, and I'll see you in that next video.